हेलो एंड नमस्ते इन कंटिन्यूशन विद द लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग प्रॉब्लम्स वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद द ड्यूअलिटी इन लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग आफ्टर द डिटेल डिस्कशन ऑन द ड्यूअलिटी एंड आफ्टर दैट द रूल्स फॉर कंस्ट्रक्टिंग द ड्यूअल फ्रॉम द प्राइमल वी आर गोइंग अहेड विद द क्वेश्चन और द प्रॉब्लम लाइक ऑप्टेन ड्यूअल फ्रॉम इट्स प्राइमल ओके मिनिमाइज सेड इक्वल्स टू एक्स वन प्लस टू एक्स टू सब्जेक्ट टू द कंस्ट्रेंट्स वन कंस्ट्रेंट सेकेंड कंस्ट्रेंट थर्ड कंस्ट्रेंट्स इफ यू ऑब्जर्व देर फर्स्ट कंस्ट्रेंट इज ऑफ लेस दैन इक्वल्स टू सेकेंड इज एस इक्वालिटी एंड थर्ड इज ग्रेटर दैन इक्वल्स टू सो आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू हैव दिस पर्टिकुलर डिस्कशन एंड द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ ऑल दिस सो लेस दैन इक्वल्स टू इक्वालिटी एज वेल एज ग्रेटर दैन now if you observe here we have got the minimization because of the minimization the objective function we should have all the constraint should be greater than or equals to but we have got the first constraint which is of less than or equals to so we have to make this change by multiplying this constraint by minus 1 both the sides so we can deal with the first constraint second constraint is of equality type so we have to form here two different constraints from this two which is one is less than equals to one, another is greater than equals to from the one constraint of equality now how to deal with that particular thing you can you can easily check that first constraint multiplying with minus 1 will be having it as minus 2x1 minus 4x2 is greater than equals to minus of 160 second constraint is of equality as i have told you we have to form two greater than and uh, less than equals to constraints so let us say that x1 second constraint as x1 Minus x two greater than equals to thirty because it's already greater than equals to thirty. We need not to deal anything with this, but we have to. We can observe the third one that is x one minus x two is less than equals to thirty. Again, we have to do the same thing. What we have done it here. That means we have multiplied with minus one over here with this constraint. We have to do the same. It will convert it to minus x one plus x two is greater than equals to minus of thirty. Then the fourth constraint is of greater than equal to. So we need not to change anything into it. It would be as it is. And then this is a non-negativity constraint here. Moving ahead, this is what we have got it from the last slide. Now let y1, y2, y3, y4 be the dual variables corresponding to the four constraints in the given order. How the four constraints? One, first, second, third, and fourth. The given question uh, already given only three three uh, constraints. but because of the second constraint of equality we have converted that that is into two different constraints and now this particular minimization problems becomes or the you can say a dual becomes min so we have will be getting max the coefficients of the objective function variables are y1 y2 y3 y4 the coefficients would be minus 160 30 minus of 30 and then it is a 10 So it is minus one sixty y one plus thirty times y two minus thirty times y three plus ten times y four, subject to the constraints. The constraints would be going ahead as the transpose of this particular matrix. Now, if you we'll observe here, this particular matrix would be minus. So just the first constraint of this particular uh, dual would be the coefficient of x one from all the constraints. So minus two x one, the x one, then it is minus of x one. Then it is x one. So if you observe here, it's two y one plus y two minus y three plus y four is less than or equals to one. What is this one? From where this one has come? That has come from the objective function one from here. This is the first constraint. Second constraint would be of the collecting the terms for the x two over here. So if you observe here, we have to collect the term x two. We do not have any x two in this particular case, so we will be having zero. So what is that? Minus four y one, minus y two, plus y three, y four. As I have told you, we do not have any x two in the fourth constraint, so y four need not to even write it. Less than equals to two. That two is coming out from here from the objective function c j from the uh, primal, and this is what we have getting y one, y two, y three, y four. Greater than equals to zero. But till it is not the final dual because. we have got the second constraint in the primal was equality constraint so we have to deal with that also now again let this y1 y2 minus y is equals to y2 minus y3 because where is y2 and y3 greater than equals to 0 this above this particular dual problem becomes or reduces to maximize zy minus 160 y1 plus 30y now what we have done it here because we have got this two two different constraint with the same 
coefficient you can say here you can say the uh, the rhs is same because we have done it or two constraint divided into two constraint because of the equality so we are putting it this as a constraint so y2 y3 so y2 minus y3 we have taken it as y so it's nothing but 30 times y plus 10 times y4 same thing would happen from the first constraint and this is also happening for the second constraint also. So if you'll observe here, we have to consider this minus sign. So subject to the constraint minus 2y1 plus y plus y4 less than equals to 1. Then this is minus 4y1 minus y because this y2 minus because we have to write down y2 minus y3. So we have to take it out minus sign out from here. And you can easily check that that is, that, that is nothing but minus of y less than equals to 2. Now what has happened? This is y1 y4 we have we have changed or we have substituted y2 minus y3 or y2 and y3 as a y so that is why this y is coming out to be unrestricted in sign because we have got the second constraint uh, was the equality constraint in the primal that's the reason corresponding to that particular variable becomes the unrestricted in the dual this is we have already seen in the table in the previous session please read to the previous sessions before going ahead with this one through this i button then the next question is maximization two types of both the types i have i would like to take at it like min and max so second is of max if you'll observe here both the constraints of equality as well as x3 and x4 they are the unrestricted in sign how to deal with now the x3 and x4 variables in the primal are unrestricted in sign therefore the third and the fourth constraints in the dual shall be in shall be equalities then the given primal LP problem is of max. The first two constraint of the LP problem will be therefore greater than or equals to type constraint. Then uh, the since both the constraints in the primal are equalities, the corresponding dual variables y1, y2 will be unrestricted. Now let us consider y1 and y2 will be two dual variables corresponding to the two primal constraints. Now that is what? We will be having, so I am here to directly write down because we have done in detail how to go about how to convert this equality into uh, two different weak inequality constraints, then put the variables and then um, uh, what to deal with this in between that I have explained you the previous question. That is the reason I am just excluding that part and how to write down the dual from the direct from the primal using this rules you can directly write down as. So it is a minimization said why y1 plus 3 times y2 subject to the constraints first one because we have to deal with the this so it's y1 plus 3 y2 so it's y1 plus 3 y2 you can say that the the rhs side of the constraints they are coming out to be the objective functions the coefficient of objective function in dual so this is what is we have got it as a dual now while doing the constraints we have to take the x1 coefficient as the first so it's 2y1 plus y2 greater than or equals to 3 from this 3 we have got it from this objective function same thing is we have to collect the maximize for the second constraint we have to collect x2 from the constraint as well as the coefficient here is that is minus y2 y1 plus y2 greater than or equals to 1 then moving ahead with the third that is x3 x3 over here and similarly here we have to check this out now as x3 and x4 are unrestricted in sign the third and the fourth constraint would be of equality sign that is what we have we have checked it over here and therefore the third constraint 3y1 minus y2 is equals to 2 so 3 over here this is minus 1 is equals to 2 same thing to get the fourth constraint we have to take this x4 x4 and then the coefficient of x4 as minus of 1 over here that is y1 plus y2 is equals to minus of 1 again as we have got it first and the second constraint equal to and the dual will have only two variables therefore both of them will be unrestricted in sign we do not have any non-negativity because we can't make any comment on y1 and y2 whether they are positive they are negative that's the reason we have to set that say that it's they are unrestricted in sign so this is also we can do it in in uh, in the uh, through directly through the rules from this okay and this is a self-observation slide wherein two questions has been given to you to write down the dual from the, L, the primal 
uh, I have I have given the combinations of all of them like it's equality is uh, greater than it's of min type and even the x3 is unrestricted. So you can easily check how that can be done from this particular case over here. And that's what we have got it here. The first, okay, I think I have, uh, okay, 5 and um, x3 is unrestricted. Okay. And this is what, and that's what we have got it to the end of this session. Please do connect and um, uh, be connected for this. Thank you so much. Happy learning.